Well, bad breath, also called halitosis, is where somebody presents with an offensive breath and it's a symptom of many possible problems. Um, the commonest cause of bad breath, obviously, is not cleaning your teeth at all. But where you're cleaning your teeth well, or attempting to clean them well, then one has to look at what other causes could result in bad breath. And we look at gum disease, infections in the pharynx, tonsillitis, medication, diet, and a few other systemic conditions like diabetics and people with kidney issues. All these people can present with some form of bad breath. Now, um, presenting with bad breath means that one has to look at why you've got it and we've already listed a few possible causes. The commonest of them all is periodontal disease and not brushing your teeth well. So most of us say we're going out to paste and we brush parts of our mouth. We clean the outer surface, sometimes the biting surface, rarely the inside of our teeth. None of us, or very few of us, bother to do the areas between adjacent teeth, what the dentist will call the interdental areas. Now, if you're not cleaning the interdental areas, then at best, you're cleaning 60% of your mouth. And you're leaving plaque. Plaque is a type of biofilm. When I say a biofilm, just imagine you go into a house where the taps are not well kept, and you run your hand through the lumen of the tap. You get this slimy material, now that slimy material is very much like plaque. And plaque is effectively a soup, a slimy soup of bacteria, dead cells, and food debris. So no wonder you're gonna get bad breath because you've left two fifths of your teeth uncleaned with the slimy stuff there. So the only way you can eliminate that is by removing that plaque, i.e. flossing, using interdental brushes, there are different types of interdental brushes around. Popular ones are TP and Curaprox, and these will help you clean between your teeth or use floss. I'm sure we've all seen people flossing in our phones. And if you do that, then you stand a chance of being able to clean at least half, if not more, of your mouth. And by doing that, you prevent the likelihood of developing periodontal disease, which will lead to further bad breath. Can you please educate my viewers on how to treat bad breath? Okay. Now, the first thing is see a dentist so you can find out the real cause of it. Um, once the dentist has established the cause, which is most likely going to be from your mouth, so it's going to be either you're not brushing well, and you may then be educated on an effective way of cleaning, both the, nut, the, the using the toothbrush and using interdental brushes or floss. The dentist will also examine your gums for pockets. When I say a pocket, I mean where your gum has broken down to the point. If you looked at my glove, for instance, there is my, 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 my cuff, there is a space between my hand and the shirt. Now, in healthy teeth, that space is small, tight. In unhealthy teeth, you've got a big space, so you've got a pocket. And you know what we keep in our pockets, right? We keep loads of stuff, and that slimy stuff I described earlier is now there. You don't reach it with your toothbrush, so it's sitting there and it's releasing the um, volatile sulfur compounds. You all know about sulfur, that hydrogen sulfide, and how it smells. Now you release sulfur compounds from the bacteria byproducts, and you have a bad breath as a result of that. When someone has bad breath, we do say the person is having sore in the head or has a problem with their tummy. What do you say about that? Um, uh, we'll leave it as an old wife's tale um, because um, it's very unlikely. You're, as I said earlier, if you have an infection in your pharynx, say you have in infected tonsils, your tonsils are uh, nodes, glands that um, clean up our siphon rubbish from our blood. So if you've got tonsillitis, 
you've got swellings in your throat. Mm -hmm.